All right, here I am, dear viewers. It is um, just a little after 5 a.m. here. This would be Monday morning, and I had to go out to use the barn, yo. So we're going to get into some Bible reading here. I like that. Let's see. We're going to put the lamp here, and we're going to put this here. Headlamp here. I got this off the Harbor Freight Tolls. So, oh, I got a bunch of junk here. Man. So much junk, so much dust, trail dust. Yeah, from yesterday, coming in, riding the bike trail, dirty, yeah. Lime quashed, lime stone. It happens, I guess. It's unavoidable, yeah. So I'm really impressed with this tent, though. Um, it has really held up to the wind, so those winds were extreme winds, too. They weren't just like little summer breezes. They were like violent. They got really violent. Pour down that bum shelter. So it said something about the strength of those winds. There's no way I could adjust this. This is just cheap. Cheap, cheap. It's not like my Cabela's. Stop it. Light really reveals a lot of stuff. Dirt, dust, everything. Okay. Uh, Get into my Bible reading here. All right, so I'm in the book of Revelation. I'm going to start the Revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay. Let's get into the Bible reading here. To me, that's the most important thing is reading the scriptures. Yeah. Okay, how do I do this? Hold up. Okay. Again, I want to thank that person who ever gave me this Bible. I didn't even get his name or anything. He just gave it to me. He said, you need a Bible? He went to his car and got this thing. I said, do you have the King James? He said, yep. Yeah. Went to his car and got it and brought it right in. Okay, so we're getting into the, the revelation of Jesus Christ, the last book of the Bible here. It says, the source of the revelation. It says, the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John, who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. The Salutation John to the seven churches which are in Asia. Grace be unto you in peace from him which is and which was and which is to come and from the seven spirits which are before his throne and from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten from the dead 
and the prince of the kings of the earth, unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, amen. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. The Voice of the Vision I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and what thou seest, write in the book and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus and unto Smyrna and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the son of Son of man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, and girt about the paps with a golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burned in the furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars. And out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was as the sun shineth in his strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me, saying unto me, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am he that liveth and was dead. And behold, I am alive for evermore. Amen and have the keys of hell and of death. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in my right hand, and the uh, seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks which thou sawest are the seven churches. So we always know, kind of, we see how the scripture interprets itself. It kind of explains what these things are here. The message to Ephesus. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks, I know thy works, and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for, thy, for, and for my name's sake ha hast labored, and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hast, that thou hatest, hatest, there's that word, hatest, the deeds of the nickel, Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, 
Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. The message to Smyrna, and unto the angel of the church in Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last, which was dead, and is alive. I know thy works, and tribulation, and poverty, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. The message to Pergamos, and to the angel of the church in Pergamos write, These things saith he which hath the sharp sword with, with two edges. I know thy works, and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. And thou holdest fast my name, and hast not denied my faith, even in those days where an Antipas was my faithful martyr, who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. But I have a few things against thee, because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, who taught Balak to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed unto idols, and to commit fornication. So hast thou also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which thing I hate. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the hidden manna, and will give him a white stone, and in the stone a new name written, written which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it. The message to Thyatira and unto the angel of the church in Thyatira write, These things saith the Son of God, who hath his eyes like unto a flame of fire, and his feet are like fine brass. I know thy works, in charity, in service, in faith, in thy patience, in thy works, and the last to be more than the first. Notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to, and to seduce my servants, to commit fornication, and to eat things offered, and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And I gave her space to repent of her fornication, and she repented not. Behold, I will cast her into a bed, and them that commit adultery with her into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. And I will kill her children with death. And all the churches shall know that I am he which searcheth the reins and hearts. And I will give unto every one of you according to your works. But, but unto you I say, and unto the rest in Thyatira, as many as have not this doctrine, and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none other burden, but that which ye have already hold fast till I come. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. The message to Sardis, and unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things saith he 
and have the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest, and art dead. Let's see. Okay. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain, that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast, and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. The message to Philadelphia, remember these are different churches, these are churches, you know, in, in different cities here, in Asia Minor, which would be the western part of modern-day Turkey today. Okay, here we go. And the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, and to the angel, forgive me, and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God and he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. The message to Laodicea. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith that, that Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art, thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. <laughs> because thou sayest, I am rich. Sounds like today's churches, don't it? Mega churches and all that. Because, because thou sayest, I am rich, and increase with goods, and have need of nothing. And knowest not that thou art wretched, and miserable, and poor, and blind, and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich in white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eyes salve, that thou mayest see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in unto him, come in to him, and will sup with him, and he with me. 
To him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame, and am set down with my Father in his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. All right, so I'm going to kind of break Revelation up here in in sections here because it, you know, then it gets into the things that will be hereafter. So, yep. Well, I thank, thank, thank that for person for this Bible, though. It's just a gift Bible, you know, like a cardboard cover. Really, it's really just cardboard. It's just a gift Bible. What's give this to somebody as a gift a new convert or something would get a bible like this but i like the typeface though it's easy to read um clear type um, and i look forward to reading it too so yeah i care on the traffic out there and people starting to get ready for their day it sounds like to me so i just want to say thank you for watching watching these great videos of mine so remember, leave a comment, subscribe, and, and consider donating to my channel. Um, I'm on Patreon, patreon.com slash alpstaurus. So you want to um, look for me and consider um, supporting this channel here. So God bless, and I see you in the next clip. All right, viewers. Bye-bye.